what's up everybody it's your girl Aniqua aka clean girl coco as i open these boxes i'm going to explain everything that i got but also um i don't know about anybody else but i don't have a lot of stuff here this is literally everything that i am relaunching with I don't have my computer. I don't have my printers, which I had two printers. <laughs> I don't have um, any packaging besides what is going to be on the soap. Um, I don't have anything else that I had before my hiatus. Everything that is here is literally everything that I'm going to be using these are all of my supplies for restock so um but you know sometimes that's just how it is even if this was my first time starting it's nothing wrong with starting small um the biggest thing is is that i'm back it's going to be a little inconvenient without my computer and my printers and all my other packaging for my products but by these means I have everything I need to at least produce my best sellers and then we're going to scale from there so let's open these boxes which one should we open first let's save the big box for last since it's in the back and let's do this one first. I know what this one is. This is my fragrance oil. Okay. This is a 16 little ounce bottle of fragrance oil. This is a pipette that I got with the fragrance oil as well. I usually get a big bag of these, but I forgot to order them. So I got it with the fragrance oil. This is my life. It's two pounds of life. thousand milliliter beaker shrink wrap for the individual soap bar soaps this is a set of five beakers I use these beakers to um, measure out like the lye, the oils, the fragrance oils, any of the in ingredients that I'm putting in. It's five of them in different sizes. The digital pocket scale. It measures as low as, this is actually a good one. I had this one um, before. So I made sure I got it again. It fits like 
all of my bowls and cups when I need to measure. The bigger one would be better because like if I'm using a big bowl, it's covering the numbers on it. But usually everything that I use is like, this is the perfect size. a few items in this box that's why it says heavy <laughs> let me stop but no so this is hmm. I'm not it's not getting to me yet I'm not sure what's in this box um but let's I'm going to open that, but let's bring out the loose items that's in this box first. First, we have the, the thermal gun. This is imperative because monitor the temperature of the lye and oils or at least, you know, whatever products I'm making when um, I need to heat them up. Is very important because sometimes oils can burn and you don't want to burn the oils so yeah I'm very careful when I make my products these I know these <laughs> are my goggles um, it's two goggles two pair of goggles in here um, I'm gonna insert a photo of what they look like because I'm not gonna open them just yet, but I'm gonna let y'all see these. Yeah, gotta have safety goggles because dealing with lye, it's hazardous. It can burn you. You don't want anything to pop in your eye. You definitely don't wanna mess up your eyes. So I make sure that I keep my goggles when I'm mixing my soap. I have Four modes. Four soap modes. Oils. I use extra virgin olive oil in almost all of my products. I got two three liter bottles. I have coconut oil the 76 degree milk point right 76 I believe this is the one it's the one the solid one the 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 hardest one um this is a gallon and you need the immersion blender hand blender Kit. It comes with the um this piece here. Okay, I don't even know what it's called. Shaft. I don't know. No, I say shaft, but this is the part. It has a blade. That's what I use when I mix the soap. The whip, the um, the whisk is what I use when I'm um making my lotions my butters creams and this one <laughs> i don't use in my products but i'm definitely going to be using it for my matchas love me some matcha and then i have got my heat, heat gun which is for the shrink wrap that'll be going on to the bar soaps Let's see what's in this box because I can't remember.
my soap cutter and this a wire cut okay it's a wire cutter I'm excited about this one because this is my first time having an actual wire cutter I don't know why I was thinking like no I did have one but no I didn't I'm excited because this is my first wire cutter it's a very you know small just one wire so but I'm excited Ripping through this thing. This is it. I put it together. My acrylic soap cutter. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so pressed because. Oh yeah, it's like the you got the um adjuster right here for how you wanna for you know for the size I'm gonna cut the soap I get to move oh that's how I, I get to move it by the centimeter and then basically the like the loaf will be sitting here and then I cut it to the size that I want it to be. So I just finished filming the unboxing and I just want to let everybody know thanks for tuning in. Thanks for believing in me. Um, if you're new, make sure you check out the the description to follow all of my handles and stay tuned make sure you like and subscribe if you're still watching comment the emoji bubbles and um yeah